object uh, for HTML forms. Uh, so throughout this video, you will learn how to access the form itself, its attributes, and also uh, uh, modifying uh, the form elements or accessing the form elements. We go through different types of the form elements and how to attach or detach uh, event listener to a form or form elements. Okay, let's go start. Uh, I'm going to open the uh, VS Code, uh, Visual Studio Code. And th this is what I want to show you. Before I go further, I want to show you that there are uh, objects available in document that you can simply access. And these uh, objects uh, are a collection of uh, elements, like for instance, for the forms, for the anchor tag, for the images in a document. Let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, let's try uh, Amazon.ca. Uh, I'm going to open the inspect element and show you how would I access uh, form objects or some other objects in this document. I go to inspect element, clear my console, and here it is. So I'll go ahead and I type document dot uh, images. So I can get a list of images in this document. Of course, I can simply go ahead and say, give me the length. Right, or I can go ahead and say I need to get the very first element in this array or this collection. So, if, of course, if I can reference an um, array element, uh, I should be able to access its attribute as well. So, I can go ahead and say, Give me source, so I can get the source, or I can go ahead and say, Give me ID, or any any other, uh, any other. Um, any other uh, attribute it has, like in this case, the style is a collection of its own, which is the key value or uh, the property and the value in there as a collection. So I can go throughout those. Remember, these uh, these properties are not read only, meaning I can change them as well. So image is one of them. Let me show you another one. Uh, I can go ahead and say um, document dot uh, forms. Right. So if I do forms, uh, you can see there are three forms in here. Right. You can see the length is three. Uh, out of these three forms, only one of them has a class here. So if I look at that, uh, these are all the attributes of that form. So I can see the action, autocomplete, and C type, encoding, method, name, and so on. Right. Now, if you look at this, uh, I can simply go ahead and uh, type something like that. I can go ahead and say, you know what, uh, forms, uh, give me the first one. Right. So this is one way of doing it, uh, yeah, or uh, I can I can get this one another way. If if you look at it, the object, uh, uh, you you could access them with the uh, with the dot notation and the uh, associative array style accessing. Meaning I can go here and simply uh, put the name of the form. In this case, if you look at this, the name of the form is site search, right? Uh, so I'll go ahead, site search, right? So if I do that, I can simply access the form as well. One thing we have to remember is uh, there is another way of accessing the form too. So I can simply go ahead and do something like this. Let me show you. Remember, I could do the dot notation as well. But the, the issue is since the name has a dash in it, it's not almost possible. It's not possible, not almost, it's not possible to access this field this way. Otherwise, if the name didn't have dash, uh, we would simply type it in this way, right? So I could go ahead and say, give me form zero, like the way I did it on the top here, right? Uh, I could go ahead and access it by its name, or I could access it by dot notation this way, right? But this, this is not possible. If I do that, simply it's going to cause me a problem, right? Now, let's go ahead and see what else we can do. So I can go ahead and say, you know what? Uh, I want the form uh, uh, dot, uh, let, let me just get the other one. Uh, so I want to go ahead and say dot method, right? So I can get the method. So I can simply go ahead and say method is equal post, right? Now I can go ahead and get the action if I want to. Action, right? It turns me the action. I, I can do many other things here as well too. I can even go and say, you know what? Let's go ahead and do submit dot sub submit, right? So if I do that, it simply submits the form. You saw that, right? So I can do many things with this as well. And the other thing I wanted to show you is this. If I go back here, I can access its element. I can go ahead and say, give me all the 
elements. So it tells me how many elements it has. In this case, it has three. Of course, I can go ahead and say dot length if I need to. I can go ahead and access the very first element. Let's see what is the very first element here. Oh, I have dot here. Let me remove that. So as you can see, the first element is a drop down, right? And uh, let me see if it has a name here. Yes, it has a name URL. Let me go ahead and do that. So if I go ahead and try this one more time, I can get uh, the, the drop down element. So I can go ahead and do this like saying, okay, you know what? Let's give me the URL. So if I do this, I still get the same and I can even do it this way. Dot URL, right? So as you can see, since the name doesn't have a dash, I can simply access that element by its name as well. So there are different ways of doing this. So if uh, we didn't have a dash in a form uh, name, we would be able to say document.forms.sitesearch.elements.url to access the element as well. Well, this is on top of what you can do with the get element by ID, get element by uh, class name, by tag name, uh, um, uh, query selector, query selector, all. This is on top of that, right? So here I directly touch the DOM object and I start getting into different areas and accessing the value. So uh, let's go ahead and add create a form in my Visual Studio, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a form here, form. Now, uh, I don't want to submit it anywhere. I want to submit it to the same page. So I'm going to remove the action in this case. And uh, I just go ahead and add one input box here. Uh, I'll call it, uh, let's say, uh, name, right? First, first name or F name, right? And let me just put here first name. Okay, and I'll go ahead and put a submit button as well. Okay, here you go. Right. Uh, I will keep the default value for the default label for the submit so I don't do much here. Let's go ahead and view this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this one using the open live server. Uh, let's go ahead, bring this one to the side so we can see the code. Now, if you look at this code right now, and I want to go to the inspect element, let's go ahead and access this element right now. So if I make this one a bigger for you, you should be able to see it. Okay. So if I want to access this, the very first thing is to go and say document.forms, right? So there is only one form. I can simply go ahead and access it with this one, right? Let's go ahead and submit this. Can I? Yes, I can. And I just simply call the submit method on the form object. And simply it submits the information. Now, if you look at this, uh, the URL, the method is get method. So I want to go ahead and change the method first before submitting it. I can say dot uh, method is equal post, right? And then I'll go and submit this time. Let me just clear uh, the URL so you can see this does work. So I'm going to go ahead here one more time dot method equal post okay now I'll go ahead and submit the form look at the URL everything is submitted yes of course page is not working or whatever reason but that's not important here is look at this right now I'm submitting the page to the uh, font.html and simply uh, I could do that using the JavaScript okay Let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, access the form element, okay? If you remember, we simply could go ahead and access the form, right? So in this way, I could go ahead and say, uh, let, me, let me just go ahead and back and refresh the page to get the form, right? So here I can go ahead and say, uh, give me the first form. As you can see, it gives me the whole form. It has everything I need there. And I'm gonna go give a name to this one too. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it uh, name is equal my FRM or my form, right? I refresh the page, go back here. Now, if I go and access this, as you can see, my FRM is there. So instead of doing that, I can go ahead and say my FRM or what I can do, I can go ahead and say my FRM with a dot notation. Do you see that? Because there are objects, so I can call them the same way as I do any property or methods uh, any property or method of an object, right? Okay, so what I want to do is now I want to access the element. So here I can go ahead and say the elements, right? 
it simply gives me of the all the elements well of course you can see i have uh, two elements first one was the input uh, box uh, or text box right and the second one is a submit button right uh, so if i come down here i should be able to see the type here you go this is the type is submit right and i should have the value value is empty at this moment right uh, let's go to the other one i, I just want to check that one too as well um, i have the type is text and the value is empty, right? So what I can do is, uh, since I can access the element, I can simply go ahead and access it as attribute too. So I can go ahead and say value, right? So if I do that, I can simply, uh, let me see why it's not working. Oh, sorry, sorry, I have to call the name, right? So f name dot value. So if I do that, I can get an uh, empty string because there is nothing in there. Let me go ahead and type something, test, right? And run this one more time. I can get the test too. So as I said, these properties are not uh, read only. It means I can go ahead and start adding some other content too. This is the this is the the test content content. There you go. Right. So I can simply go ahead and access these element and uh, do whatever I want. So if I want to make it empty, what would you do? What would you do to clear the content? Yeah. Simply you will go ahead and make an empty string. Okay, that's all for this video. In the other videos, I'm going to show you uh, what are the other techniques to access different form elements and uh, changing them using JavaScript. Thank you for watching.